Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Got a really exciting brand new product to look at with you today. Just been released on the market. It is a new grow lighting controller. This little guy here. And it is called the Growcast. It is a Bluetooth device which can network with other uh, of the same devices in a Bluetooth mesh. Doesn't need any external networks, any internet signals, anything like that. Connects via a very fancy app and can control all these different lights. You've got Migro Rays, Horty Ones, Vivo Suns, Horty Blooms, uh, Mars Hydros, and many, many others, including HPS. It is very flexible. You can group them together. Um, you can set different schedules for different rooms, different timing. Um, you can dim them uh, according to a PPF chart. So you're able to see how much PPFD you're applying to your plants um, for the lights that they have tested, which is, which is a wide range. And uh, yeah, it's, there's very little this thing doesn't do. And uh, yeah, most of all, it's cool, which I really like too. So let's get into some of the detail. So it comes really nicely packaged in the Growcast box and you get a sensor um, and this is the Growcast and you get a little um, adhesive uh, metal strip because the Growcast can uh, magnet, uh, attach onto that. So you can attach this to your grow light, whatever fixing you want, and then you can uh, fix your Growcast onto it. The Growcast comes with, a, well, first of all, it has a touch sensor on the front to change its function. Uh, as a little halo light around to tell you what function it's operating on. And comes as standard with an M12 waterproof connector. Three pins, uh, dim, minus plus, and power supply to this. This, it's compatible directly connecting to this to quite a lot of lights. You'll see it in the compatibility list in the description and on their website, but you also get two connectors then to come from the Growcast, connect through the waterproof connector, and you get two or J11 um, two network connectors, and these can be connected then plugged straight into the um, grow light. Again, check the compatibility list on the website for which one you need. Some drivers on some grow lights don't power back onto the Growcast, so you've got a separate little power supply, USB-C, for the Growcast, if that is the case. I found uh, some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, but you get everything you need to connect them up, to power up the Growcast, and uh, they also have other detail on the compatibility list if you wash, wish to wire them um, into the driver um, manually, which you can do so if you're able. So super little controller. Let's see how it is applied to the grow lights. So a number of different um, setups and variables to show you, or variations I should say. Here we have the Migro Ray. Now this is controlling uh, three tenths, three separate grow light controllers. But we're just using one grow cast to do so because the controllers are daisy chainable. So you can control the dimming on the first unit and then daisy chain to the other three units. Now this is currently under Bluetooth control, which I can change the settings with the app. You can see that the blue halo, which you can also just adjust the lights uh, manually, as it were, to different settings by pressing this. And you go up, it's four different settings in increments of 25%, I think, um, or reset it back to the um, Bluetooth control. Uh, so you can sort of manually override it. You can also use this halo button to um, reset the unit if you're reconfiguring it somewhere else. Next one we have is the uh, Mars Hydro TS1000. You can see the unit sitting on top. Driver here in this case does not power the unit. So we've got the separate USB-C power connector here and that uses the type one connector as it happens for that one. Here's a uh, Horty um, one a uh, commercial uh, grow light. And uh, again, this one, the driver connects directly in through the type one connector, 
no USB-C connection required, it powers from the driver. So extra simple there. This one is to the Vivosun. I'm sure they won't like this. <laughs> Somebody else controlling their lights. But uh, this one, again, needs the USB-C power connector and the Type 1 connector plugs straight into the lights. And here's one uh, that I show just to a demonstration of wiring it directly. So the Horty one, it shows the um, connections here. So the dimming connections does have the power connector. And I simply, you can see down here, the um, Growcast, and I have just made a connector for it. And so this has the dim plus minus and the power feed back to the grow light. So I'll show you now how we can set all these up to, um, and control them on the app. So the app is super easy to set up. Just search for Telos and uh, download the app. And first thing it'll ask you to do is to create a network. I've just called mine the Migro network. You go straight into the settings then and um, you add devices. It's going to scan the room. Uh, in my case, there was five devices for each of these different setups. And in turn, you add those devices to the network. So your Growcast will be flashing blue. You turn the Bluetooth on your phone, it'll detect them. If it's one of the lights that Growcast uh, or Telus have set up for with the Growcast, you'll get the highest of accuracy of data in terms of the PPFD maps, etc. But you can put in any fixture that you want. It's just going to ask you for the, the name of the light. So you tag it basically. The PPF output, you can get that from the product data sheet for the light in question and then the wattage for that light. It'll then ask you if you have multi units uh, daisy chain together. So you could have a configuration for a large go room, for example, with lots of lights daisy chain together. So it's then going to ask you to set up a room. So you set up a uh, name, a room, and you're going to be asked to put in the length by the width of the room and also the type of reflective walls that are available in the room. This will affect the sort of algorithm that calculates your average PPFD later on. And then for that room, you add the lights which are associated with that room. Once set up, you can then adjust the dimming level in that room and the app will very helpfully show you not just the dimming percentage that you're setting it up at, but the PPFD level, the average PPFD across that. This means you can set up really accurately for seedlings. You want sort of between 250 and 300 par for very young plants. Veg, you're up to about 500, 600 par. And then, you know, whatever you're looking to target for uh, flowering up to probably about 800. You can also set the schedule for that room. So the light time on, time off, and whether you want to apply uh, sunrise and sunset dimming schedules to your, um, to your lights. And you can have grow rooms with multiple lights in them. So I've set all this up <clears throat> as a single room so they can control them all simultaneously and uh, you just add multiple lights to the one room and you can control them all on the same uh, lighting schedule and uh, dimming adjustment. So really it's that simple. This little device does everything. It's secure. Get your own little no local Bluetooth network which could be hidden. It is compatible with pretty much everything. Uh, you've got a lot of listed lights and listed manufacturers which will continue to grow. They've got a full list of them on the website where you can just plug in directly. You may need to do a little bit of adaption for um, lights outside of that. It is flexible. You can set up multiple rooms um, in your network. You can have multiple lights in that room. You can be dimming them all and switching them on and off simultaneously. And um, yeah, it's just really easy really cool and uh, yeah delighted to say it's on the market now links below to the telos website uh, we'll be signing them here in migro as well if you wish to pick them up there but uh, please visit the telos website check out the compatibility with your grow light look at all the cool features and functions on it and um, yeah looking forward to your feedback hope you enjoyed take care